Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're going to be doing a review, uh, looking at the top 21 questions and basically everything you need to know about the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. Now, uh, I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes, so I'm going to try and crack on, and so please bear with me and please accept that. But some of my answers are going to be quite short because I've got a lot to get through here. So we're going to look at, first of all, the question number one, and that is, well, what is the iCarsoft CR Pro? The iCarsoft CR Pro is a multi-vehicle, multi-system scan tool, and will also allow you to do uh, special functions. We'll get into all of those with, uh, with regards to what it can do in the vehicle very, very soon. How much is the tool? The tool is £259. You can possibly find them cheaper, but you know there are fakes and there are clones out there on the market. So we always recommend uh, going for the one which is 259. We'll get into where you can buy that in a moment. Uh, but do be aware that fakes and clones are available. Uh, we'd recommend highly to stay away from those at all costs. So where to buy it? Well, I'll put a link in the description below this video. You can either buy it on uh, the Diagnostic World website. You'll get a genuine tool on there. Also the Amazon link. I'll put the Amazon link in there as well. Um, it should be a, should be a genuine tool on the Amazon link as well, but 100% it's a genuine tool on the Diagnostic World link. So how is it powered? Well, it's not a wireless tool, unfortunately. Uh, you'll need to. This cable comes in the box, and one end of this cable goes into the diagnostic port, and the other end goes into the top of the tool there. So that's how it's powered. The kit takes its power from the vehicle battery. So it doesn't have an internal battery at all on this tool. And what vehicles does it cover? Well, we'll get into that now. So we'll click into the diagnostics menu and it's gonna show us a huge list of manufacturers. So I'm gonna go through these quickly. BMW, Mini, Land Rover, Jaguar, Mercedes, Smart, Sprinter, VW, Audi, Skoda, Seat, Porsche, Volvo, Saab, Opel, that's Vauxhall, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, Lancia, Peugeot, Citroen, Renault, Dacia, General Motors, Jeep Chrysler, Ford, Holden, Toyota, Lexus, Sion, Nissan, Infiniti, Acura, Honda, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Zuzu, Suzuki, Kia, Hyundai, and DU. What systems does it cover within these vehicles? Vehicles. Well, it really depends on the vehicle. Um, for example, let's have a look at this Porsche Cayenne that we're in right now. So if we go through the motion of selecting our vehicle, it's a Porsche Cayenne. Manually stick. So it's going to give us 41 different systems that we can potentially connect to. Obviously the main systems being the engine, transmission, air, uh, ABS airbags, and then we've got lower but still important systems like the instrument cluster, air conditioning, uh, par parking brakes, electronic power steering, steering module, uh, you've got parking sensors in there, all different kinds of modules. So that's 41 different systems for the uh, this Porsche Cayenne. However, if we were to go on to a different vehicle, let's say we had, um, I don't know, a, uh, let's go, just go to VW. Let's say we had a VW Golf and we can click on the system selection, manually select the system that we want to choose. We've got 137 different options on this particular one. So lots and lots of different uh, systems, but it all really depends on the vehicle that you're, you're connecting to. But it is classed as an all system scanner. So if that system is installed into your vehicle, the chances are this kit will cover it. Uh, what about special functions? Well, let's have a look at those. So the special functions, oil service reset, electronic parking brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle calibration or control, steering angle sensor, diesel particulate filter, ABS brake bleeding and injector coding. What does it give with regards to the code? When you see the civil example, we've got the uh, the airbag code on this car. Well, sorry, the airbag warning light, should I say. We've triggered this manually ourselves just to uh, show you this tool diagnosing and resetting that fault. So we'll click onto Porsche. We're gonna go into our vehicle again. So this is gonna show us exactly what to expect when you've uh, connected to a system. So the airbag system, read fault code. So it's giving us a fault code, a unique fault code, and a description of the fault code. If it doesn't mean that much to you, then what I would say is put the, this information into your Google search engine. If you're getting that fault, the chances are somebody else has also had that fault. There are There's lots of information on internet forums about what these fault codes mean and how different users and owners have actually uh, fixed the problem. 
Uh, with regards to this one though, we triggered it, so we're just gonna click enter and we'll get rid of that airbag light. There we go, it's as simple as that. Okay, uh, is it touch screen? It gives the impression that it's a touch screen, but it's not. You have to use the toggle buttons on the side to actually navigate through the menu. It won't work if you're trying to do a touch screen. Touch screen systems are available, but they're generally more, much more expensive, made by Autel. What about updates for this tool? Updates are free for life. They're generally published three to four times per year. Some diagnostic tools you will pay a uh, you'll get a, your first year free, and then you'll have to pay uh, yearly updates. This is guaranteed free updates for life. How do you update it? Well, you do need a Windows operating system. You can't be updated on a Mac, unfortunately. So if you don't have a Windows operating system, then you, you might need to borrow one or lend one off somebody uh, once a year just to do the updates. You don't, you don't even have to do the updates. If it works perfectly fine on your tool, then you know, there's, you're under no obligation to go through and update the tool. Um, let's see now. How does it compare to something like the CR Elite? This is the CR Elite here. Well, this is more expensive, this is cheaper, but this does a lot less. This only covers the main systems, for example, um, airbags, ABS, engine, and transmission. This is a very basic version of this tool, so I would always recommend the CR Pro, but this is still a good tool. I'll put the links to both of these in the description so you can have a closer look at both of them. Uh, but as I say, the CR Pro is always gonna be the better tool, but these two are quite commonly compared to each other because they look identical, but the software within these tools is very different. Um, what else have we got now? Support, well if you if you have a problem with your CR Pro, help and support is available, but you do need to go through the people that you actually bought it from. Um, it's because that that seller will have quick links to iCarsoft if they are a genuine stockist. So my advice again as I say is go through Diagnostic World and if you do have a problem with it then go to Diagnostic World and they will uh, go through their support channel through the uh, sorry, iCarsoft and they'll get you the help and support you need. Uh, next question, can it print out? Unfortunately, it does not print. Languages, well, let's have a look at the languages. We go into the setup option. Languages, we've got English, we've got German, we've got Dutch, French, and Spanish. The box, what comes in the box? So this is the box, the CR Pro. I'm just gonna open it up really quickly here because time is getting on. I know you guys are busy. So this is a carry pouch. In here we've got uh, a user manual. We've got the power cable here and also a USB cable which hooks this up to your computer in order to do the updates. Uh, is it easy to use? Well, I think you've seen so far that it's very easy to navigate. You know, you can't really go wrong. It's just a case of following what's on screen and looking at the on-screen prompts telling you what to do. I would say it's absolutely one of the easiest things to, to use. Um, you don't need any instru any instructions, really. You don't need any previous experience either. It's so simple to use. So would I recommend it? 100%. If you do, if you are a DIY home user and you've got a, a maybe a few cars to look after, I would 100% recommend this tool. A quick look at the other options in the menu here. We've got a voltage, so this does a quick battery test. Um, we've got a quick link to check engine faults, uh, review the review the data that you've been through. You've got a diagnostic trouble code library here, so you can put a code in, and I'll give you information on any any specific code. Uh, Set up. It just gives you uh, the data log, you can factory reset, change the language, choose the unit of measure, put a put a beep on every time you press a button, which I'd highly recommend against. And a little bit of help about what the tool does and about gives you all of the latest software information. And or so should I say the current software information for any given manufacturer. Um, does it double up as a tablet is another question that we often get. No, it's purely a diagnostic tool. It only, it's only suitable if you want to diagnose faults. Some of the tools like this Autel tool here, which I'll show you, that is a, a professional package diagnostic tool, MK808. So that's a diagnostic package and also doubles up as a tablet. This is purely just a diagnostic package. And 
one last thing how fast is delivery if you order from the link below you're generally going to get it between one and three working days um, I think I've covered everything in just under 10 minutes with about two seconds to spare um, so that's everything on the C CR Pro Kit as I say that was 21 quick fire questions that we got through and within those questions I believe it kind of covers everything you need to know about this tool if you do have any further questions, um, contact the guys at Diagnostic World. They have all of the information on this tool. These are the guys that stock this tool. These are the guys that dispatch the tool. Uh, also, you know, if you didn't want to go through those, you can go through the Amazon link as well, whatever's best for yourself. Uh, but please make sure that you do follow the links below this video because these are the links that are going to take you to genuine iCost of products. You don't want to go down the route of getting a fake or clone product because it will give you more trouble than it's actually worth. Uh, so there it is. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've taken something from this video and I hope you've learned a little bit about what this tool will do and whether it's suitable for your needs or not. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.